Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the use reducer hook with React. And basically, this just allows us to create a more re Redux-like architecture. I'm going to build out three components, and this is just going to be component A, right? Um, and it's going to take some props. Very simple. And div A, div. Let me just copy this real quick. B, right? B. And, uh... C, B, and uh, C. All right, so those are our three components right here. And uh, then I want to just change this into a functional stateless component. Uh, props, and uh, it's just going to return. Uh, let me add the fragment right here. Fragment. Actually, I'm kind of curious if this works. I don't know if this will work. What does it say? Uh, corresponding closing tag. I don't know if that will work because I don't have the. Kind of curious. Let's let's just try it out. Nah, I think I might need a Babel plugin or something for that. Um, that's supposed to represent the fragment. Well, let me just write it out. Fragment, and uh, clean that up here. Fragment. Cool. Hello, and uh, we'll just say welcome. Put this. We'll say welcome, welcome to the app, and uh, here we'll just say A, B, and uh, C. Clean that up here. A, B, C. There we go. A, B, C. All right, cool. Um, so basically, what we want to do is allow each component to uh, get this user's object right but we don't want to explicitly pass it to all of them. So here we're just going to say props.users, and we'll do json.stringify props.users, and then I'm just going to grab this and put it right here and right there. Clean that up, and we're going to see what is it. It's nothing, right? So what we're going to do here is uh, create this initial state that we're going to use, and we're going to say const initial state, Initial state, right? And it's just gonna say version 1.0.0 and uh, users. It's gonna be an empty array. Cool, right? So you notice, right? If I were to pass this uh, right here, initial state into here, then okay, it gets it. That's not what we want, and that's very manual. So again, this isn't the point of use reducer, but let's just look at this. So we're just gonna say uh, state and dispatch is going to be equal to use reducer. Um, and the first argument is reducer. Let me get rid of that. The first argument is the reducer we want. So I'm just going to say reducer, and this is a function which takes in the state and the action. And then, we'll, like we do with the reducer, we're going to switch on the action.type, and we're just going to give it a default, and we're just going to return state, right? And um, and here, if we go ahead and we look at, let me bring it in, use reducer. Um, if we look at what each of these are, state and dispatch, and then initial state, and this is to like seed the initial state right there. So let's look at what each of these are in here. So this is our initial state, and then you can see that, um, and then uh, this is dispatch action, right? Cool. Um, awesome. So what we can do here is um, basically we could do something like this. We could uh, create a provider and uh, we'll do this. We'll say consumer and provider equals react dot create context and then we'll give it the initial state. Um, and then what I want to do here right instead is pass in this provider and then uh, let me just get rid of that provider and let's see that's probably gonna blow up no it doesn't blow up and now we have uh what do we have we have an app we got this context provider it doesn't really have any value to it right though so what we want to do is uh is uh, what do we want to do here? We just want to give it a value equals 
state, right? And that'll be our value for this. And now if we go here, look at the value, it's the users, right? And then here we want to give it, uh, because this is just, we could use the use context, but here I'm just gonna use this and use the render props of consumer. And again, here's our state. And then uh, this is where we can put the fragment back again. Fragment. And then ABC. And then you can sort of see, right, um, this is, again, we could write a higher order function or a higher order component to wrap this again. But uh, for now, we'll just pass in state state right and this might be like the store instead right whatever you want uh, state and uh, state so now what do we get we are getting the empty array right there uh, what I want to do now is um, create this uh, maybe this just this button right here and uh, it says click me to see users and Let's just look at this in action. Click me to seed users. We can sort of see what's happening. Nothing's happening there. So what we can do here is give it a handler. And uh, basically what I want to do is um, give it this method here called seed users. And this is just going to dispatch. Um, this is just a function that when it's called, it's going to dispatch type seed users and on click we just want to say seed users all right so let's look at what actually happens here we notice nothing happens here but if we go inside of here we can look at the action and the action dot type whatever you know so let's just look so the first time it comes in it's not coming in with anything we go in here type seed users cool um, so what we want to do is switch on this, right? Case seed users, All right? And let's just make it blow up. Let's return null. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing really happens. It just nothing returns, right? So that's kind of an anti-pattern. What we want to do? Uh, we're going to spread out the state, and what then we want to do is we want to say users, and then we'll just say right. Um, We'll just say state.users.concat1 just to see what happens. There we go. Awesome. State.users.concat. And then after that, uh, we want to disable this button, right? We'll just say disabled uh, state.users.length. Okay, so you can see it one time and then it's disabled. Awesome. Um, Cool, so that's basically the idea behind this dispatch, right? We've got this more sort of Redux-like architecture here, and then combined with this provider, um, really the only thing we're missing would be a connect function um, that would allow us the map state props, map dispatch to props, etc. There's a few other arguments after that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and one other thing that we could, you know, pass down, right? We could pass down the dispatch here, right? So I could actually do this, do something like this. Um, and I could pass down state dispatch. And uh, so now we're seeing inside of here, A also has action to dispatch, right? And we'll just say, um, we'll just we'll just try something right here. We'll say, um, we write button, uh, click me to update version. And uh, we'll just say on click um, props dispatch. Uh, and again, let me clean that up a little bit. Props dispatch. Um, it's going to be a type update version. And we sort of see what's going to happen here. Update version. And maybe just right here, right? We want to JSON dot string five state. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, cool. 
to click me to see users. Users is one, right? Click to update version. Version is not happening. Uh, but here again, we can see it on here. Uh, we can update version. And uh, in this case, return the state and the version equals um, state dot version. We'll just do this state dot version plus um, zero point zero point zero point one. All right, let me just do this. I'll just wrap it. Now. Okay, so let's make sure this works. And uh, that's not actually going to work. Let's, let me see the best way to handle this. And let me see version. And let me see. Um, 1 plus 1.0.0.1. And actually, let me do this. 1. Actually. Eval. I'm trying to think of the best way to. Actually, if I just do um, um, one plus two. Uh, so I want to try to do two point zero. Two point zero point zero. Yeah, I guess you can't. Um, I don't know. I might need. I don't know. I'll just do it with uh, version equals state version plus or equals plus or equals um, 0 0.01. Let me make sure this works. And uh, state version. All right. And state version. What is it? So it's actually one point zero point zero. All right. Yeah, I guess I won't like that. We'll just add one to it, right? It doesn't matter. State version plus one. one there we go there we go and uh so we we're able to see that everything is dispatching correctly right um version seven everything is being updated i have everything in here uh so if you guys enjoyed that uh, again you could get this to work probably with a parse int or using some other decimal i know it's probably something super simple i don't usually try and update it like that uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, take care, and see you guys in the next video.